Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another installment of Meaningful Mornings. I am Elder Derek Strickland. I'm so glad that you're here. I want to say good morning to the Bible Lessons and Prayers Facebook group and to the Bible Lessons and Prayers YouTube channel. If you're watching me on YouTube, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, smash the like button, and leave me a comment down below if you got anything out of this uh, Meaningful Morning edition. Um, we do have, for all of you all watching on YouTube right now, we do have a Facebook group that you can be a part of. And if you'd like to be a part of the Facebook group, the link is in the description. Uh, where you can join and if you want to be a blessing to the channel there's a cash app there that you can actually give to so um if you want to do those two things great 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 so um this morning's um uh, addition um uh, to meaningful mornings which is something that i decided i'm going to continue um not for sure if i'm going to do it every day but we will continue this um until uh, uh, God get, says, uh, that's enough, do this now. <laughs> All right. So, um, passage of scripture today, today is coming from Philippians, um, the first chapter, verses 15 through 26. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a long one, but we're going to get through it. Um, so, once again, um, when we go, we're going over these scriptures, these passages of scriptures, not just to memorize them, but to get a deeper understanding of what the scripture is actually saying right what it actually means um we could all look at the scriptures and read that you know it the words say what they say but do we know what they mean or rather do we have any background context to what was actually going on at the time that this scripture the passages of scripture was actually being brought out so um i want to go over these and um if you have any um, thoughts on these scriptures that we're reading, or if you have a different understanding, or you know, you have you know whatever it is, feel free, feel free to um, put it down in the comment section. Um, this is something that we are doing, and you know, we all are here, including myself, is here to learn. All right, learn and get different perspectives, and to, you know, hear someone's. Um, uh, uh, thought process on the scriptures and you know, it, it makes you go. Hmm. I never thought about it that way. All right. So uh, Philippians 1 verses 15 through 26 it reads as thus Some indeed preach Christ even from envy and strife and some also from goodwill The former preach Christ from selfish ambitions not sincerity supposing to add affliction to my chains but the latter out of love knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached. And in this I rejoice, yes, and will rejoice. For I know that this, for I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayers and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ according to my earnest expectation and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness as always. So now also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will mean fruit from my labor. Right. This will mean fruit for my labor, yet what I shall choose, I cannot tell, for I am hard-pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better, far better. Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. And being confident of this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy of faith, that your rejoicing for me may be more abundant in Jesus Christ by my coming to you again. The, I read to you first Philippians, I mean read to you Philippians 1 um, verses 15 through 26 as we say may the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. All right, so we know that that's what it says. We know that's what it says. 
But let, let's get some background. Let's get some background. All right. In this letter uh, to the Philippians, the, the letter to the Philippians is a letter written by the Apostle Paul while he was in prison in Rome around the year 62 to 63 AD. In this letter, Paul writes to the, to the Christian community in Philippi, a city that is now the modern, modern day Greece, to encourage them in their faith and to update them on his own situation. So this is Paul in jail, letting them know what's going on with him, all right? In Philippians 1, 5 through 26, Paul reflects on his own circumstances as he is in prison, he is an imprisoned missionary and how he and how his imprisonment has actually served to advance the cause of the gospel. Wow. When <laughs> we, isn't that amazing? Something that is a um, would be looked up as a bad situation, Paul was actually able to find a silver lining around it. All right. He writes that some people are preaching Christ out of envy and rivalry, while others are doing it out of love and goodwill. Paul says that he rejoices in any circumstances in which the gospel is being preached, whether it is being done out of good motives or bad, because he knows that the message of Christ will ultimately triumph in bringing salvation to those who believe. What say you? What say you about that? Is it Paul says that he rejoices in any situ in any circumstances in which the gospel is being preached. He said, Paul said, in any circumstances in which the gospel is being preached, whether it is being done out of good motives or bad, because he knows that the message of Christ will ultimately triumph and bring salvation to those. Who believe. Paul also writes his own personal struggles as he's in his desire to be with Christ, but he ultimately concludes that it is more important for him to remain alive and continue to serve Christ so that he can continue to proclaim the gospel and help others come to faith. He says that he is confident that God will complete the good work that has begun in the Philippians and that he will be able to see the fruit of his labor when he arrive in heaven. That's just a little background for this passage of scripture. Hopefully you are able to get something out of it. Maybe an uh, aha moment you might have found there. Listen, if you're watching me on YouTube, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash the like buttons. Like, uh, we really appreciate it. And let me know if you enjoyed this uh, addition to Meaningful Mornings. Meaningful Mornings is going to come out most of the time throughout the week. Um, somewhere between... Uh, five o'clock and six o'clock, right? Um, so, uh, a.m. So definitely, um, go ahead and subscribe and, uh, we'd love to have you. If you want to be a part of the Facebook group, um, go ahead and, uh, click the link down below. And if you would like to be a blessing to the channel, there's a cash out there that you can do. So I am so, um, grateful to be here today, January 8th, one day, my last day, uh, in this 47th year, as they say around the sun, this is my last day uh, with birthday coming up tomorrow. I am so grateful. I am so um, blessed to uh, see uh, this time at this moment. And um, I remember a time where they would say um, young men coming out of Chicago didn't make it past 21. And here I am getting ready. To, I'm knocking on the door 48 um, as we go through this day. So um, I ask that you all continue to pray for me. Pray that God will continue to use me and continue to uh, give me the strength and the encouragement and the faith to keep going on. All right. So um, I guess that's it. We're going to end it with a prayer and we're going to get out of here. All right. Can I Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Lord, we just ask that you continue to make ways and open doors. Oh, God, I ask that you look over each and every one, Lord, that is uh, watching this live, that will, re that will see the replay. Lord, I ask that you bless them in a special way. Lord, I just ask that you continue to give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your word. Lord, help us to apply your word, to get in your word, Lord, to take it in. 
and share it, Lord, to help us to share your word that others may uh, come and know who you are and, and just how wonderful and awesome you are. Lord, that those may, uh, that they may not just uh, have a, a place for religion in their life, but a place for relationship, God, a place for a relationship with you. Lord, we, we are striving to deepen our relationship with you, to understand you more, Lord, to please you more. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, look on husbands and wives and families, God. Bless them in their home. Bless their business, finances. Bless their health. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, you're so good. Lord, we get thank you and give your name the praise, glory, and honor. We bless and ask in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right. Well, I will see you um, later on this week, maybe tomorrow, right? I may do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm not sure. I may do it all day next week. I'm not sure. All right? But um, you all have a blessed day. Give God the praise and the glory. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.